to be more than just a big fan um, writing a letter to Michael Jackson and interestingly Michael Jackson also chooses to reply to her in the song itself yeah, yeah. interesting interesting song there are many such songs on this topic where either the person is writing a letter to someone or the someone else is writing a letter to them here it's someone else writing to Michael and then him replying yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, with a person like Michael Jackson, uh, with his, uh, I mean, his iconic figure that he was, I think there must have been millions of uh, girls like that. So yeah, I mean, it would be impossible to think that something like that would happen in real life, uh, real life for him, because there must be millions of fans who actually wrote letters to him, uh, whether it is home in Neverland or elsewhere. Uh, to the label or whatever address was given inside the CD so there must have been millions who did that and yeah obviously he can't answer all of them he may definitely uh, admire, like them a lot for what the, the kind of love they have for him admiration but yeah it's difficult so it's a f sensitive topic for me I mean something like that is difficult you know how do you uh, reply to such people if you have a lot of fans and they love you and they write letters like that to you. How do you reply to them? So Michael Jackson has taken an interesting uh, way to make a song out of it and reply to it in the song itself. So 
the interesting thing is that the name of the person is not given. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's it, for all of those. It's for all of those fans. So that makes it like everyone who's written a letter like that will think, oh, he's maybe he's replying to me. The song is for me. Yeah. So the song I uh, amazingly didn't do that well, I think, because I've never heard of this song. I'm not even sure if it is an actual official release of Michael Jackson on any of his albums. Not sure. Well, maybe after he passed away, this was something they found and they decided to turn it into a song and release it. But uh, it's it's an interesting thing. Interesting way of replying to possibly millions of fans around the world. That, you know, I'm replying to you. Yeah, it's a different thing. You may never get that letter. But uh, he's still replying. The song itself was, uh, the style, the way it was made, it was uh, all the retro style used for a song like this. I wonder why was he using that kind of uh, style for his song because he usually did different things, uh, unique and experimental things. But this one was more on the retro side. Um, and uh, uh, the topic uh, of the song is very unusual for me. I've never reacted actually or come across a song where the actual artist is saying that I'm replying to my fans and this is what I would reply, that I would say I love you back and things like that. Uh, it is very sensitive. It is very sensitive because a lot of people get so, uh, I would say, obsessed with into this uh, fandom of a particular celebrity or somebody they really like that it gets very, very scary and, you know, it gets... Uh, intense and you do not want to deal with them uh, beyond a point because you don't want to harm them yeah, yeah it's basically your responsibility that you don't want to harm them because you know that they are gone too deep into something that is you know not going to be possible yeah there are so many who have taken so a lot their of lives people yeah a lot of people when, have lost uh, their lives. Uh, especially a young artist In dies the i'm sure even when michael jackson died nobody must have done surveys because mm -hmm. yeah you don't want to carry out a survey like that mm -hmm. but if you go by statistics i'm sure with the day michael jackson died i'm sure around the world there may have been at least 1000 people who died mm -hmm. of suicide mm -hmm. uh, by suicide because of this so but those things people won't tell you because they don't want it to be alarming and then maybe people Keep records of this also that every time somebody dies, yeah. uh, how many people took their life That's because they loved him so much yeah. or her so much. Yeah. yeah, so there's a deep involvement in things like that. I remember we wrote and uh, we did a review a few months ago of Michael Learns to Rock. Mm -hmm. And there's a close friend of mine who uh, loved this, my Michael Learns to Rock so much. So after that, he was quite angry with me because yes. I, you know, we gave a negative review to Michael Learns to Rock. Uh, and also sarcastic review because their name is after Michael Jackson and they but didn't they, admit it. they wanted to distance themselves from Michael Jackson the moment he was in after the some legal, trouble yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, legal trouble etc so you know I, I I call them out Michael Lunch Rock but this friend loved them so much that he didn't like it at all and after that he didn't want to meet he, me he's for a not while. spoken to him yeah he, he's spoken but he doesn't want to meet <laughs> not with the same kind yeah, of feelings so have you, you there's know. a deep involvement I, I don't know what is his involvement with <laughs> Michael Lunch Rock and which member of Michael Lunch Rock he loves so much but there's this deep involvement of people so I've got it first hand in the recent times also in the past also I've got it mm -hmm. uh, myself you know I've seen that people are obsessed with celebrities you know as a trainer, as a teacher, if you speak about, uh, you know, a certain yeah. celebrity in a not such a nice way, you just, you know... Yeah, I've got a lot of it. In my classrooms, when I spoke against <laughs> a celebrity... The rage in the eyes of yeah, the Yeah, we, we obviously know it on YouTube itself. The kind of racist, discriminative platform they are. You obviously get a lot of it here, but we don't yeah, really care about you this guys. This we don't bother. We don't yeah. care about you because guys. We because we personally don't know you. We personally don't know you. We don't know who you are. We don't know what is your agenda. So we don't really care. And we know where you come from. We know where you come from. So when you come from such a horrible, pathetic place or country, who cares what you have to say? I mean, who values it anyway? So yeah, I mean, uh, so this is an interesting song, but definitely deep involvement, not good. Because every time someone young, an artist, whether it's an actor, whether it's a, um, you know, a musician especially, they take their lives and so many of them do, you know, because they're usually depressed, most of them. So when they take their own lives or if they die in an accident or something, there are so many around the world who also take their lives, which unfortunately people don't talk about because it's not, you don't want to boast about something like that or talk about something like that. that this person had so many fans that they took their own life. 
but it's a st if you actually check every time a major celebrity dies around the world many people who are big fans of that person also take their lives for me it's not only about that kind of extreme when uh, you know uh, the artist dies and something you know negative happens it's also about day to day life and the kind of choices fans so called when they get into this zone uh, they make because of that celebrity they make things difficult for people around them Uh, the, the members of the family also have to suffer a lot if you happen to have um, family members who get completely involved with certain artists or certain celebrity uh, and uh, it happens more often among the young uh, especially the teenage times where girls or boys they are so obsessed or so fascinated by uh, a particular artist their taste their uh, choices their everything is revolving around and it's very expensive to keep up with those children you know uh, <laughs> If I if I keep on giving examples, the examples are endless, and this video would be too lengthy. But there are children who want to meet their artists and you know uh, yeah, travel abroad, travel literally across the seas, yes, just to do uh, that, just to you know go for a concert of that person. And they know they are not even going signing. When they know that they will be there for a signing, they want to just go there. They'll spend thousands of dollars just for that one signing. Uh, in fact, that movie. Crazy. Is, Savi, that movie is good. Fan of um, uh, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. And, uh, Robert De Niro. Uh, Because yeah. that shows the artist does not care about. He does not know you exist. But these people think that the moment I see the my hero, he will literally pick me up or what? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, they expect that they will you know recognize how much you care about them and love them. But they don't care. They Most don't of the time, they exist. don't even know you exist. Exactly. So yeah, here is Michael Jackson who has done a nice thing by. Writing a song saying I know you exist, and this is the best I way I can reply to I you. I know there are too many is, of you. This also gets dangerous. Probably, yeah, it's dangerous. It, it, it gets dangerous. dangerous because if that person actually believes that this person yeah, is applying to, yeah, so they will actually go deeper into it. Yeah, so it's sad. It's sad. It's so the day Michael thought. Jackson died, I'm sure over a thousand people took their own lives, which is really sad. And may all their souls rest in peace. It's sad. Yeah, it's a it's a good song though, good song, yeah, well sung, well song. nice nice little song by Michael Jackson. I like that Michael Michael added in Michael. there. Michael Michael backup. by the backup singers. Yeah, interesting. That's it for this one.